Does that make you hungry? Hungry, Joe. Yes. All right. You know what? We we talked about the Aquanets, and mm -hmm. now they kind of disband it now. And right. you know, over the years, or, or through the performances, we've always had audiences out there, and they were friends of That's the Aquanets correct. and myself. That's how and we all start. That's how we started. And every time somebody got sick, somebody got up and pitched in and helped. That's right. So right now, we're going to bring a guy who did this often. Mm -hmm. Also a dear friend of both of ours. That's correct. One of the lead singers of the Aquanets, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Johnny Baldino. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hi, Joe. So I hear the group's doing pretty good these days. I hear they're really uh, up and about. We are. We're doing real good. We're singing all over Wildwood, Philadelphia. Hopefully we'll be singing here this summer. Yeah, I just heard you did a big job at the Grand. That's a, that's a great thing. Yes, yeah. we did. That's yes, great we thing. Did. Well, you know what, Johnny? Well, before we get into bringing the other uh, two, well, you know what, we could, you know, before we bring the other two guys out, let me ask you a question. Uh, when you're at La Piazza, I got to ask you this. What are some of your favorite dishes? My favorite is the filet Montello. Great dish, but a close second is chicken parm. Chicken pot. Your sauce is great. Not as good as my wife's, but it's very good. Like gravy. Your gravy, I'm sorry. And have you told it was better than your wife's, because even if it is. I have to say that, otherwise you'll be, so you. you'll be coming home with me. <laughs> all right. Out of all that we do, we have one dish in particular that is by far our biggest seller. It's the godfather in this place. Nobody can touch it. This thing is in charge of the entire family, right here. We're gonna show you. It's our chicken parm. It's breaded. I'm not gonna show you how to bread a color. I think by now everybody knows how to bread a color. All right? We're gonna take it into the frying pan. This is a dish fit for the simple palate with a big palate appetite. Most people wind up taking this home. Very few people finish the whole thing, but more power to it if you can finish it. I can't. I look like I can finish it, but I can't. Believe me when I tell you that. Now it's cooking, and we're just gonna brown it off on both sides, top it off with some gravy, and then some cheese, and in the oven, it goes. And that gets served with a side of the pasta. Your choice, we have many kinds here. Spaghetti, linguine, fettuccine. And of course we have the old favorites. Ravioli, managot, lasagna, gnocchis. The list goes on and on. And I even got macaroni back here, percatelli. For all those guys out there and girls who know what I'm talking about, what percatelli is. People will tell me, I haven't seen that since my mother or my grandmother. We have it. And something else we have. A trip. And you know what a trip is. It's tripe in English. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because if I tell you what it is, you're not going to eat it. But those who love it, we have it. Just ask for it. It's not on the menu. Ask for it. It's back here in the kitchen. We do have it. Okay, now that the chicken parm is going to go in the oven, we're going to finish it off. So right now we're doing a new twist to the Chilean sea bass. And, cause some people can't have gravy, sauce, whatever you want to call it, tomatoes. We're just gonna blanch it off in some olive oil right now. We're gonna put some, rub it down with some oil, olive oil. And then we're gonna put a little salt and pepper on it, just to flavor the fish. We're gonna put a little flour, just a little bit, not much. And we're going to sear it on the stove. Just put it down here in the side temperature. Here it goes. The oil has to be hot. Don't go putting it into, into cold oil. Get it real hot, throw it in there. It'll cook, it won't stick on you, and you'll be able to flip it over and do the other side. And then we're just gonna put this in the oven. Now this looks kind of bland here, and it sure it does. It is, it's nothing but a piece of fish. But how we're gonna finish it off is gonna be a twist. Everybody knows what pesto is, and pesto is made primarily with basil. Right now we're going to make a pesto for our pasta and our fish, made out of broccoli rabe, and you're going to put some olive oil in there, 
And the olive oil is the liquid that keeps it going, keeps it loose. So we're now going to puree that. Just get it working. There you go. Now we're going to add garlic, some cheese, and the other twist to this pesto, instead of using pine nuts, we're going to use toasted walnuts. And a little bit of hot pepper, just to give a little bit of life to it. And you might have to add a little more oil to it, but right now we'll, do, we'll see how it goes. And it's a great combination. It really is. Now we're adding a little more oil to it because you want to keep it a little loose. You're going, to be you're going to toss this over pasta. Here's our pesto. We're going to toss it over the macaroni. Okay. Now we're going to put it in, in the dish here, get ready to serve it. Pesto is strong in flavor. So that's why the fish itself has nothing going on. When you put the fish in there and you take a bite, and we can put a little bit across the top of the fish, everything's going to work together. The fish is going to just taste excellent with this. And here we go. Now I need a little love. Love here in La Piazza is only a little parsley around the plate. But look at that. Great dish for great people. Now we still have a lot of simple dishes here at La Piazza. One in particular, and I've been told, I don't want to say this, I've just been told, I'm not saying it, other people tell me, we got the best meatballs on the island, and probably the biggest balls around on the island. Meatballs, that is. I'm going to show you a dish of meatballs right now, dish of the spaghetti and meatballs. Now this is about as simple as you get. Everybody eats spaghetti and meatballs. Or the majority of this country eats spaghetti and meatballs. And we do our meatballs, beef, veal, and pork. Do the whole thing, garlic and the bread and the parsley and all that. And this is an order. Doesn't get any simpler than this. Look at that. It's a great dish. Simple. You can't beat it. Well, let's bring out two other members of the of the group right now. Uh, it's one is uh, Dave Wentz and Mr. Ed Baldwin. Hey, Dave, how you doing, pal? Nice to see you. Hi, Hello, Eddie. How are you, Dave? Here, it's a death. We're actually missing. Uh, we're actually missing the fourth person here. Who's the the fourth person? We also have Jimmy Wallace, and he's actually he's in a golf tournament today. I heard he lost his putter and balls out there. I don't know about that. I'm not touching that. <laughs> well, anyhow, we're all together right now. What do you say we try to kindle something up together? Sure. What do you say we get up and do a song together? That would be great. How's that? Sure. that would be all right? Great. The audience ready for that out there? Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's, Let's do it. Let's go. We took you through one hell of a tour through the kitchen today. I hope you got some great ideas. I've been doing this for a long time now, and uh, it just comes easy. It looks easy, because it is easy. So it comes easy to me, and it should come easy to you. These, these dishes aren't really complicated. They look complicated, and you say, well, I don't always have the time to do it. You know what? You really gotta make the time sometimes. It just, it's fun get some family together, and just bringing people together. And that's what it's all about. And food is one way to get to people's hearts. I'd like to thank all of you for being here with us today. It was a great time. I hope you had a great time. When you're down in Wildwood, come and see us here at La Piazza. Ask for me, I'm usually in the back. Later on in the night, you might catch me up front on the stage singing. But just remember one thing here at La Piazza. Where cooking comes from the heart, now that's amore.